This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Fluid level checks. Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering column. Lift the hood safety latch. Raise the hood and support it with the prop rod. Brake fluid level. The brake master cylinder fluid reservoir is located on the driver's side of the engine compartment firewall. The fluid level should be maintained between the max and min lines marked on the side of the reservoir. If the fluid is low, wipe the top of the reservoir and cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the system when the cap is unscrewed. Unscrew the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. While the reservoir cap is off, check the fluid in the reservoir for contamination. If rust deposits, dirt particles, or water droplets are present, the system should be properly drained and refilled. Top up the reservoir with the specified type of new brake fluid until the fluid reaches the max line. After filling the reservoir to the proper level, install the cap and make sure the cap is fully seated to prevent fluid leakage or contamination. Engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out of the tube and wipe all of the oil away from the end with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube and pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. The level should be between the L and H marks or within the cross-hatched area. To add oil, unscrew the oil filler cap and pour in the correct type of oil. Use a funnel to prevent oil spills. After adding oil, wait a few minutes to allow the level to stabilize, then pull out the dipstick and check the level again. Add more oil if required until it reaches the H mark. Do not overfill the engine. Insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it by hand only. Coolant level. A white plastic coolant reservoir is located in the engine compartment and is connected by a hose to the base of the radiator cap. The coolant level should be checked regularly. The level of the coolant in the reservoir varies with the temperature of the engine. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be at or slightly above the min mark on the reservoir. Once the engine has warmed up, the level should be at or near the max mark. If the coolant level is low, allow the engine to cool, then remove the cap from the reservoir and add coolant to bring the level slightly above the min mark. If it's necessary to open the radiator cap to check the level in the radiator, wait until the engine has cooled completely then slowly unscrew it. If you hear a hissing, or if any steam escapes, wait until the system has cooled further, then remove the cap. If only a small amount of coolant is required to bring the system up to the proper level, water can be used. However, repeated additions of water will dilute the antifreeze and water solution. Install the radiator cap and reservoir cap securely. Drive the vehicle, then recheck the coolant level. Automatic transmission fluid level. Immediately after driving the vehicle, park it on a level surface, 
set the parking brake and let the engine idle. While the engine is idling, depress the brake pedal and move the selector lever through all the gear ranges, pausing for a couple seconds in between, beginning and ending in park. With the engine still idling, locate the automatic transmission fluid dipstick. It is at the rear of the engine compartment on the passenger's side. Pull the dipstick away from the tube, wipe it off with a clean rag, then push it all the way back into the tube until the cap seats. Pull the dipstick out again and note the fluid level. If the fluid is cool to warm, the level should be in the cross-hatched area on the cold side of the dipstick. If it's hot, the level should be in the cross-hatched area on the hot side of the dipstick. If additional fluid is required, pour the correct type of fluid directly into the tube using a funnel. It takes about one pint to raise the level from the bottom of the cross-hatched area to the top with a hot transmission, so add the fluid a little at a time and keep checking the level until it's correct. Also, be sure to shift the selector lever through the gear ranges between additions before checking the level with the dipstick. Do not overfill the transmission. Insert the dipstick fully into the tube. Turn off the engine. Power steering fluid level. The power steering pump fluid reservoir is located on the right side of the engine compartment. Use a clean rag to wipe off the reservoir cap and the area around the cap. This will help prevent any foreign matter from entering the reservoir during the check. Twist off the cap and check the temperature of the fluid with your finger. The level should be at the hot or max mark if the reservoir was hot to the touch. If the reservoir felt cool, the level should be at the cold mark, but not below the minimum level. If additional fluid is required, pour the correct type directly into the reservoir, using a funnel if necessary to prevent spills. Install the cap securely. Windshield washer fluid level. Fluid for the windshield washer system is stored in a plastic reservoir located at the left front of the engine compartment. Flip open the cap and fill the windshield washer reservoir as necessary. Push the cap securely onto the opening when finished. <laughs>